Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Scott Free, and this is The Sounds of Sunday. What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Sounds of Sunday. Your radio host, MC, for this May 10th, 2020 show. It's a Mother's Day celebration show for today. I'm actually playing all my music today, uh, extended music sets for all my mothers out there and family out there celebrating Mother's Day. So stay tuned. Coming up is my R&B music mix right here on the Sounds of Sunday. Right back.
That was a nice little cut by the whole others with the basement strut. One before that, you heard one by John Daly with Beer Belly Blues right here on the Sound Sunday. And on, on this extent, continuing on this extended music set was one by Quincus Morita with Swagger. And kicking off this R&B music set for today was one by Diamond Ortiz with Inevitable right here on the Sound Sunday. Thank you for tuning in this afternoon. I am your host, Scott Free, your music producer from the Sounds of Sunday. I swear I play all my music from content creators that you've never heard of before. Some you may have, but I play them and promote them on my show. Coming up is my smooth jazz music mix right here on the Sounds of Sunday. This is Mother's Day edition, May 10th, 2020 show. Stay tuned. Right back.
and coming back. That was a nice little cut by C Sarah, the instrumentalist with Silent Observer. And before that, you heard Sleeplessness by the Brothers Records right here on the Sounds of Sunday. This is a smooth jazz extended music set. Coming up, um, actually, no. Um, before that, you heard Smooth, So Smooth with Danny Keehan and Doug Maxwell. And kicking off the smooth jazz extended music set was one by Joe Begal with Thank RGE. Nice little cut right here on the Sound Southern. I am your host, Scott Free. Thank you for tuning in this afternoon. Shout out to all my mothers out there, mothers and family celebrating uh, Mother's Day today. It's uh, May 10th, 2020 show. Um, actually, I want to give my condolences out there to uh, the family of um, Mr. Aubrey. Um, actually, uh, there's been a lot of um, a lot of news going coming up this week uh, about the uh, two men that were arrested um, after two months of uh, speculation and non-arrest, um, and because of the video coming out. Um, the men were arrested, and they were obviously got had to serve their day in court. So, uh, just <clears throat> and Mr. Arby's birthday was yesterday. So, I want to give my condolences out to the family over in, out there in Georgia, and everybody be safe out there. Okay, um, just my political opinion and criminal uh, analysis. Um, I don't want to say too much about it, but what I actually observed from that video. Um, as and also as a veteran of the um, um, police force, okay. What I actually observed is the way this went down. Um, I just want to say this. <clears throat> I believe it was a. The father was um, initiating the son into a into a some kind of organization or gang. The way this went down. Um, so he had to go out there and actually kill, basically execute an innocent um, black man. Okay. Uh, so I'm just giving my analysis, just my opinion. Um, but this, to me, this was an initiation uh, killing where actually he would actually, the son would actually, if nothing, actually, if they were not arrested, um, the son would actually be <laughs> indoctrinated into a organization. I'm not sure if it's a police organization, uh, a police gang or whatever, a PD gang or whatever, there, there are some out there, okay? But there's some kind of organization that actually, the way this went down, it was some kind of initiation that he actually, this allegedly had to go out there and um, conduct this uh, criminal act, okay? So um, I'm not sure if everybody, anybody think about that, but to me, that was a motivation uh, the way it went down and being a former PD for the military, I can actually, in my analysis, um, would look at that as <clears throat> we call it, <clears throat> call it mens reis, uh, modus operandi, but it seemed to me that it was a senseless killing for one, and then the attempted cover-up, alleged, alleged cover-up for two, and it just seemed like the way this went down, it was some kind of indoctrination for this man, this man's son, to be to join some kind of organization or a gang, um, underground gang. Okay, just my opinion. Uh, so don't quote me on. Um, I'm not an expert on it, but this is just my opinion and what I actually looked at the video and looked how it went down. So again, my condolences out to the family. I'm hoping you uh, have some solace. I know Mother's Day is here, and I know um, the mothers and the family is probably still devastated about what's happening, especially when the video just come out after two months of being stalled. Uh, so shout out to the attorneys. Shout out to everybody in Georgia, especially in the Bronzeville area. Uh, be safe out there. <clears throat> and my you know what my suggestion anytime you go out by yourself don't go out by yourself if you're a black man especially in the 20s um, up to your 30s don't go out by yourself make sure you go out with somebody make sure you have a witness okay i'm not sure i'm not going to tell you to be strapped okay but be careful out there you got to have your head on a swivel okay because there's some people out there that's destined to um 
because of this lockdown, whatever. Sometimes they get uh, cabin fever or whatever. So they have to, they, they need to get in, get out there and do something. And sometimes it's very stupid, and very alarming uh, to the rest of the nation because this has actually went worldwide. Uh, so I'm, I'm the people of Brunswick, I would be very careful because this is something that went worldwide and this is not people coming, maybe coming from the area. It may be coming from the world. Okay. So you never know what's going to happen. Okay. But anyway, my suggestion, just have to keep your head on the swivel and take somebody with you, especially if you're going out leisurely doing something, make sure you have a witness. And if you care to be strapped, make sure you actually are trained and legally uh, able to carry a firearm. Okay. Because uh, it seems like stuff is getting a little stupid out here. Um, and I believe nobody's safe out here, especially in the uh, American African community. Okay. I consider myself an American African, not an African American. I consider myself an American African. Okay. But just be careful. All right. And my, again, my condolences out here uh, to the family of uh, Mr. Aubrey. Okay, coming up is my last music set for today, and that's uh, in my international music mix. Coming up, you're going to hear one by, kicking off this one, you're going to hear one by Aaron Lieberman with Take a Break, right here on the South of Sunday. This show is Scott Free. We'll be right back.
And yes, coming back, that was an initial cut by Track Tribe with Strong Bones, a new uh, new cut that I like I actually put in circulation right now. Uh, before that, you heard Rubber Dub by Matt Harris. And before that was Rick Steele with Feels Nice. And like I said, kicking off this international music mix with one by Aaron Lieberman with Take a Break right here on the Sound of Sunday. Thank you for tuning in this afternoon on this Mother's Day celebration, May 10th, 2020 show. Okay. I hope you all be safe out there. I know the quarantine is still kicking you in the butt, but it's slowly coming back online. Just be careful out there. Um, and <clears throat> like I said, keep your head on the swivel. Um, uh, because actually you have some people who's got cabin fever, so they're itching to get out there and do something, um, either fun or not fun, okay? Uh, this is your host, Scott Free. Thank you for tuning in. I am your host, producer, where I play all the music from content creators that you've never heard, never heard of before, some you may have, but I play them and promote them on my show. You all have a good evening, good afternoon, and I will see you back here next Sunday, right here on The Sounds of Sunday. Later. Oh, <laughs> oh,